welcome to the Sisters Empowerment Show. And as we, are, we promised you, we shall be bringing to you very interesting topics. Today with me is my co-host Lillian. As we told you, we shall be sharing our experiences. Lillian, what do you have to tell our viewers today before we start our topic? Thank you viewers. Yo, most welcome. Thank you for viewing the Sisters Empowerment Show. Uh, we're going to look at, given the changing times, we are currently in the post-COVID era. <laughs> there are a number of things that uh, we that have changed, right from uh, our employment aspects, home, managing our families. We've had a long time with our children. So then, these are some of the things we are going to look at the impact of COVID to our families, our ourselves, and the people around us. Thank you very much. Keep doing. Our dear esteemed viewers, we shall always ask you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And when you subscribe, you shall receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Um, today we are going to discuss about the COVID impact on the several aspects of our lives as Lillian has already told us. We are going to be giving our experiences and the lessons learned. And from these lessons we want you to also pick a leaf and apply a few of the things that you think are applicable. Not everything we are going to say will be applied to you, but if it applies to another person, please don't hesitate to share that point with that person. And at the end of the day, we shall be happy to have an impact on your life. Not so, Lydia? Yes. Yeah, so as we start today, we are going to give a brief background. Where did COVID find you? How did you embrace COVID? When did you learn about the COVID situation? <laughs> I know these are many questions, but I mean, we have to tell you where we were and how we embraced it. Thank you, Daisy. Yes. Uh, where did COVID find me? <laughs> oh, of course, with the social media, uh, there were a number of posts in relation to COVID-19, how there was a, a pandemic worldwide. However, of course, uh, especially in Europe and Asia, this is a pandemic that had spread, had started to spread worldwide, especially in Europe and Asia, like uh, especially from South Korea, from China, and some parts of Europe like Italy, Spain. For us in Africa, uh, like since we're in Uganda, this is something that we'll just keep watching and viewing <laughs> and hearing stories here and there through the media platforms. And uh, little did we know that this is something that is going to affect all of us. Of course, uh, with this COVID-19, it, it took us some time to really, it took us some time to really understand that this impact will affect the entire nation and to really believe that this is real. Of course, uh, the fact that if you do not have the impact affecting you directly, you may think it is really far from you. But uh, of course in Uganda, uh, we started to really feel the impact in the month of March 20, 2019. Sorry. <laughs> we started to get to understand the reality and the impact of COVID-19 in the month of March this year, 2020. Of course, uh, we would hear stories from our friends, relatives, the, the, those that were abroad, and they would keep telling us this thing is real. <laughs> and in real sense, I can share my experience. Like, like uh, while in Europe, some of the countries had started the lockdown, for us in Uganda, we had not started, and we could not imagine that this was coming. Uh, one of the the key major impact that I felt was when I got a phone call from 
my sister Daisy, by then she was in the United States of America. Whenever she would call, we would chat and she would tell me this thing is real. Please prepare for the lockdown. Buy stuff, be prepared. Schools will close, like prior information. And when I would share also with my fellow colleagues, my family members, they would not really take it serious like <laughs> I would do so. However, as time went on, when we would keep watching the news, the videos about COVID-19 and the impact, and looking at a number of people that have lost their lives, then with time we had to really understand that it is real. Then later we started to also sh share the same message to others that were still living in denial. And uh, of course we realized that still also time is coming for us to also go <laughs> into the lockdown. Personally, I wouldn't have taken the, <laughs> the impact of COVID seriously if I had not really got your continuous phone calls uh, telling me about the need to prepare for COVID, the need to take care of your life, how to manage the situation. Mm. that you were facing mm. while in the U.S. because you, at the time you were in US, United States of America, in Europe, and uh, we had heard about that. We were watching on television, CNN, UBC, BBC, all those things about that. So how was it, what was the impact of COVID-19 according to you and how, what was the experience and how did you feel about that and now that even when we still have the pandemic you managed actually to come <laughs> back home. <laughs> so you can tell us and share with us briefly your journey during the COVID-19. Um, thank you very much our viewers. I want to remind you that you're watching the Sisters Empowerment Show. Remember to like subscribe, comment, and share. Lillian, you asked a very vital question that I've been waiting to tell my story. And thank God I've gotten the opportunity <laughs> to tell this story. Now, how did I get to know about COVID and how did I prepare for it? It's a long story. So, I went to the United States of America in August 2019. And I came back for holiday, Christmas holiday, and then returned in January to the United States. But at the end of January, I was residing at the residence of my friend. I don't want to call her my landlord. She was supposedly supposed to be my landlord, but I call her my housemate. She's called Deran Yang, a retired military officer in the United States. So in February, she tells me that Daisy, guess what? This COVID situation, of course, by then we were reading about it in China as a very serious pandemic. And none of us knew that it would get like to the whole world. So one day we were sitting with her in our house, like chatting. And then she tells me, Daisy, this COVID situation is going to get very serious and the world might lock down. I was like, really? The world locking down, I had never heard about the world ever, ever locking down. So I was like, I think she's just dreaming. So she's like, I'm getting information that schools are going to close down, shops are going to close down, businesses are going to close down, and there is not going to be any movement. And I was like, no, in my heart, I was like, really? What is this that can close down the whole world, including the US? So, because somehow I believe and give time, opportunity to certain things that I've had, I started like preparing myself, buying things in big quantities, because that is my habit anyway. But she now tells me now, like in March, she tells me, we now have to go and do shopping. So she takes me to the shop and we do shopping. In preparation for COVID. Have you, being that you... You this, at this time you cannot now move out of your house to start moving around, even shopping. We had to order if we needed to buy certain items for the family. 
you would order for them if you had some missing stock or items but this would be done like we would do like massive shopping like for for a month but remember there are some items that especially the perishables like for us in africa we are not so much used to stocking things like tomatoes or greens we are used to having fresh food so even stocking in a freezer in uh, that is not something very so much common if we are to do that it will not really spend more than a week so we, we find that we found out that we had to adjust accordingly actually by the time maybe by the time when students or uh, students were told to go back home and there was no more school we thought it would take two weeks but two weeks came to a month three months up to now we are still in the lockdown so basically if we found out that this is now something we have to work along with and uh, we had to make ourselves interest be part of the family and also